The Memphis Race Riots of 1866 In the city of Memphis, Tennessee, from May 1st to May 3rd, 1866, over one year after the end of the U.S. Civil War, 48 men were dead, 46 of whom were black freedmen, and most of them being veterans of the Union Army. 70 more were wounded, 5 black women were raped, 91 homes, 12 churches, and 4 schools were burned down. By the end of it, over $17,000 in federal property was destroyed in Memphis's worst race riot in history. Many black freedmen and veterans of the Civil War were forced to leave their city permanently. Even city police and firefighters made up one-third of the rioting mob that laid waste to the freedmen's neighborhoods. No one was persecuted after this massacre. How and why did this happen? After the capture of Memphis by Union forces in 1862, the city became a haven for refugee slaves trying to escape their former slave owners. From 1860 to 1865, the black population of Memphis increased from 3,000 to nearly 20,000. However, Former slave owners in Memphis resented both their labor shortages and the groups of freed African Americans in their city, and urged the U.S. military to take action. The U.S. military decided to detain many African Americans, classify them as quote-unquote vagrants into custody, and forced them to accept labor contracts on plantations. According to local Reverend T.E. Bliss, in a letter to a U.S. general, how is it that the colored children in Memphis, even with their spelling books in their hands, are caught up by your order and taken to the same place and there insolently told that they had better be picking cotton? Has it come to this that the most common rights of these poor people are thus to be trampled upon for the benefit of those who have wronged them all their days? Black soldiers attempted to intervene on behalf of their people, forced back onto plantations. Tensions arose in the city. The incidents of police brutality skyrocketed. The local police arrested the soldiers for minor offenses and treated them more harshly than their white counterparts. They also shoved and beat black civilians on the streets for the crime of quote-unquote insolence. Finally, on May 1st, 1866, a large group of black soldiers and their families, wives and children included, were hosting an impromptu street party. A group of Memphis police officers was called to the scene. When the soldiers refused to disperse, the officers called for reinforcements. An officer accidentally shot himself in the leg while drawing his gun, blaming the injury on the African Americans. The conflict escalated resulting in an officer being shot and killed. City police and angry white residents began to fire and kill several soldiers, some who were already fleeing or arrested. Eventually, in the late evening, the white mob began destroying various black homes in the area, looting them and assaulting their residents. Some of the black residents died when the mob forced them to stay inside their own burning houses. Schools and churches were also targeted and burned down. The violence continued through the entire day of May 3rd. One third of the white rioters were Memphis' own police and firefighters, who engaged in the killing and looting and even the raping of a few black women. By the end of May 3rd, 46 African Americans were murdered. Five black women were raped. 285 more were injured and over 100 homes and buildings were burned to ashes. No arrests were ever made after the riots. This is what was done. 